Welcome back to Presenter Media. My name is Kara. Today's request was put in by a Facebook user that we have on our fan page. We'll be showing you how to create a YouTube video as well as a hyperlink right in your PowerPoint presentation. We can go ahead and click on the video we have in the background here. You can see it goes to YouTube here. And we do have a hyperlink that will take us also directly to that YouTube video. So we'll click on that hyperlink and let our internet get caught up here. In our case, we're using Chrome. All right, and here we go. You can see the video playing in the background. Now I did choose a video that has no audio with it, just so you don't hear multiple layers of voiceover going over the speakers. Our next step will be to show you how to be able to create this on your own. The first thing we need to do is create a new slide. You have a few choices when it comes to your text box. You can either keep the original, but keep in mind that if you keep the original and you put in a hyperlink, it will actually show up in the blue and underlined style with the bold on it. If you click insert and go to a text box, this will actually not end up showing up blue. So now that we have our two text boxes in place, let's go ahead and get our YouTube video that we would like to use. So let's go ahead and grab our stick figure again, since he is without any kind of sound. Now the first thing that you would be inclined to do is click this link at the top. This is not how you'll be able to watch the video. Your best bet is to go down to the share or embed button. If you click that, you'll have a drop down box follow below it. Click on embed and make sure you have the option to use the old embed code. Unfortunately, PowerPoint is not able to use the more modern code. So if you see it show up with the iframe width as the first things that you see there, that will be an incompatible format for PowerPoint to be able to play. Let's go back into PowerPoint and go on to insert, move down to our video and select from a website, paste that entire embed code right there, and we'll have the video show up right here. We can right click and make sure that it will show up as a preview, so we can play it and we have it going in the background there. Our next step will be able to show you how to insert a hyperlink. You can right click on either of the text boxes and go down to hyperlink. In our case, we'll be hyperlinking to the Presenter Media channel, so we want to have that URL pulled from the website here. And go ahead and put the URL right in that address field. You'll see an email address, create new document, or place in this document for where you want the link to happen. Just make sure that you have the web page option selected. Now notice nothing interesting happened as far as with the text within this box. If we repeat the same process with the box that starts out originally in, in your template, notice how it turns blue with that standard underground underline on it. If we play our slideshow, we can make sure that everything works. We can play our video. All right, he's working. Click it again to pause. And you can go ahead and click on that hyperlink and we know that we already have that open once. But let's just go ahead and go to Google. Close out of that and then we'll try on that other hyperlink. All right, and you can see that it pulls it up right to our channel there. If you have any more questions about this template or any others, please feel free to email us at support at presentermedia.com. My name is Kara, and thanks again for listening.